Hey, what's up? Um, so here we are again. Now, there are a few changes I've made since the last video I didn't record. Uh, first of all, I renamed these two prefabs. So here's a C-sharp prefab for the cell. And here's a JavaScript one. They're basically the same, except one has a C-sharp script attached, and the other has a JavaScript one attached. So besides that, they're pretty similar. Uh, I think the C-sharp one's walls are thicker, but it doesn't really matter. Um, now, I'm not going to walk you through how to make this um, prefab, but it's really easy. <clears throat> if I just expand this, you can see that it's just the floor that we had before, and then there's four walls. Um, everything else here is like the box collider. That's all default. So what you just do is you do game object, other, cube, make it a child, and just have these positions. Uh, it's really simple, but I don't have enough time to show. So um, I encourage you to try to make it yourself. However, you can also um, import it as a package. So I took my prefab and I exported it. And I'll put a link online so you guys can go ahead and try to import this package for yourself if you don't want to make it. So all you'd have to do is just, um, let me do that again. You go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and then navigate to the cell.unity package that you would download. And then just press Open and Import. And here's the feedback. And then you'd enter in whatever script you have. So let's say you're making the C sharp one. You go to cell. So not one of these cubes. Not the walls. You go to cell. And you just drag in whichever script you're using. Alright, so pretty simple. Now, um, I've made a few other changes too. As you can see, I made a script called cell scripts. Uh, I don't remember if we had this before. I don't think so. It doesn't have anything in it. All it has is a public bar position as a vector 3. And it's just going to be empty. We're going to assign it in the grid. So <clears throat> here we have um, this is new. What we're doing is we're assigning, or we're declaring a new variable called new cell script as type of cell script. So it's going to be referencing um, each cell's cell script. So um, new cell script equals the new cell, which is the one we just made, dot get component cell script. So in our prefab, <coughs> sorry, uh, we're going to have the script attached. So for every um, one of these cell prefabs that we instantiate, they're each going to have a cell script with a different position that's going to start as blank. So what we do is we get this cell script using get component, and then we do a new cell script dot position. So it's the cell script it's position, right? Um, equals vector three i x zero i z. So if we go ahead and run that. Uh, I need to save grid first. Okay. Press play. And here's the uh, cells all with the walls. Go ahead and look in the inspector. You can see that the cell 000 has a cell script that has a position 000. If you look at 0, 011, or 0, 0, 011, it has 0, 0, 011, so on and so forth. All these different cubes or cells will have a correct position signed. 